The zoom command is actually a simple tool to use, but it is difficult to a degree. That's true because there are a lot of choices to choose from, but yet most of us only use two. Let's open up a file that has something in it so we can actually zoom in and out. I'm just going to open up one of my recent files here. I'm going to open up the mechanical example file. This comes with this chapter, so you should be able to browse to it and open it up if you haven't opened it up recently. Now the zoom command is the act of moving closer or farther away from your drawing data in order to get a different view. It doesn't change your drawing in any way, just the way that you're visualizing it. Now there are many different ways to zoom. If you go to the ribbon and you go to the view tab, you should have a navigate panel on there. If not, right click on the panels, don't right click on any of the commands, just on the panels somewhere, go to show panels and go to the navigate button. It should have a check mark. If it doesn't, click it and it will open up the navigate panel. Now you have a lot of zoom commands available to you here. That's right here. By default, mine is saying extents. But if I click on this little flyout arrow, you can see here that I have several different zoom command options. There's zoom extents, if you click that, it will zoom out or in, depending on where it needs to go. It will zoom in such a way so that it will fill the extents of your drawing area with the extents of your line work. So all of your line work will be exposed and will fill up your screen. That's a really great tool and I like zoom extents a lot and I use it often. Another option is the zoom window. If you click on the zoom window button, this will allow you to draw a window on your screen and everything inside that window will be zoomed in and will fill your display. So I'm going to click here with a left click and then I'm going to draw my window. And I can move it to the left or right, up or down. As you can see here, this is the window that's being created. So I'm going to look at this part, left click again, and it zooms me into that spot. That's the zoom window. So zoom extents and zoom window are probably the two most often used zoom options for people. For me, that's about all I ever use, to be quite honest. I can navigate through my drawing almost everywhere with the pan command, zoom extents, and the zoom window. Now you have the zoom previous. That will just take you back to the last state of zoomage, as I'd like to say, but your last zoom state, and it takes you back there. If I click on it again, it takes me back one step even further, and I don't have any more zoom previews saved. So that's what that does. Now real-time zoom, this will zoom as you drag your mouse, left click and then drag your mouse up or down, diagonally, back and forth, and it zooms in real time. So that's kind of handy if you want to zoom in on something slowly and still see everything as it's zooming in. Now it's going to focus on the center of your screen. You don't really focus where you click at, as you can see, I can click anywhere, and as I move up or move down, it zooms in or out accordingly. That's real-time zoom. As I said earlier, a reason to use that is so that you can zoom in slowly, accurately, and it's very easy to see what you're zooming to. One reason not to do it is that it's very slow. Now, zoom all. Zoom all is very similar to the zoom extents, only that it will zoom to all of the places you have ever worked at in this file. So if I've done some work over here, let's say I've drawn a rectangle, if I do a zoom extents, of course, it's going to zoom in and show all of my line work and just fill the screen the best way it can. If I go to zoom all, it kinda does the same thing. You can see that there. If I remove this, I click on zoom all, it remembers an area that I've gone to before. Now you see that rectangle kind of moved away, but it will zoom and display all the objects as the tooltip says that are visible along with your visual aids. You can change the magnification and settings for the zoom all so that it will fit something very specific if you'd like to. However, the majority of the time, you're not going to spend the time to do this. The dynamic zoom is really cool. This used to exist before we had the zoom extends and zoom all. If I click on dynamic zoom, it does a zoom all essentially, and then it gives you this window. Now if I left click and slide left or right, it shrinks or increases in size, the size of that window. And then I can pan it around and move it by left clicking, holding it down, putting it into position, letting it go, 
and then I can zoom it in or out again. And when you're done, just press enter and it zooms in to that spot. So let's say I'm zoomed in really closely to this circle, but I need to zoom into something in the side view. Well, that's where dynamic zoom comes in handy. It kind of zooms all the way out, and then I can take my window, move it over there, left click to kind of pick where it is, and press enter, and it zooms in there. So it's one command that does two different zooms. It's a zoom out, and then it's a zoom in. That can be very useful and very helpful so that you can get to wherever you need to. Scale. We'll zoom by a specific scale factor. I typed in 2 there, and I'm going to type in 6. If I type in 9, it keeps zooming in. If I scale it to 0.5, it zooms out. So if your zoom scale factor is greater than 1, it's going to zoom in. If it's less than 1, but greater than 0, it will zoom out. If I click Center, and then pick another line, it zooms into those two lines, kind of like the zoom extends, but it just extends into those two lines and then puts the middle of that right in there. Let me try that again, except this time I actually click on something there. It goes like that. See, so it kind of zooms it in and centers it. So in a way, it's a little bit like the zoom window, but with a diagonal line. Now the zoom object is quite simple. You select the object, press enter, and it zooms into that object, filling the screen with that object. So if you want to see something very specific, that's a really great zoom tool to use. And then you have zoom in and zoom out. This just zooms in just a little bit, and zoom out zooms out just a little bit. So you can see here the zoom command is very complicated. You have a lot of options available to you. Now you can get to these on the ribbon, or you can get to them on the command line. Just type in the word zoom, press enter, and you have all of your options right here on the command line. Just pick the one that you want and perform the zoom command. Now, another way to zoom in is with your scroll wheel. You just zoom in or zoom out just by scrolling your scroll wheel. And then if you pan around with that same wheel, you can get to just about anywhere in your drawing just by doing that. 95% of the time or so, I'm going to say that's exactly what I do. The other thing I will do is do a zoom window. If I just type in Z for zoom, W for window, and that'll give me exactly where I want to go. Now another quick way to perform a zoom is a zoom extents, and that's also with the scroll wheel. Double click on your scroll wheel, and that performs a zoom extents. So between the zoom extents and then the scroll wheel zooming in and out, and then the scroll wheel being able to pan, that's about all I ever do. I hardly ever ever go to the zoom command. If anything, I just type in Z as my keyboard shortcut for the zoom, press enter, then W for window, and I'll do that. So as you can see, the zoom command gives you a lot of options. It's very complicated that way, but there are a couple of very simple tools that you can use for almost all of your zooming needs.